What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I want to make this quick video talking about something that's been on my mind and bothersome to me. So I figured I would open up and share it with you guys. And as we gear up for Mayweather versus Mike Donna, aka Mayday, aka May Purview, I was just thinking, boxing needs some fresh faces. I mean, I get on here daily, upload my videos. I subscribe to a lot of boxing networks and channels on YouTube, and there's a lot of good insight, there's a lot of creative ideas, a lot of great interviews, etc., etc. And I feel like mainstream boxing, so the big boxes, the big networks, um, they could use some of the input from real people. Um, I'm not saying they're not real, but maybe they've just been on the job like very long and you know what I mean they're not necessarily that creative but I was thinking Mayweather versus Maidana is called the moment that sound gay as fuck like really I'm looking forward to the fight and this is nothing against either fighter but I do not like that title I don't know why it's been bothering me I don't like it like I'm trying to say it in different voices and stuff to like talk myself into like it the moment the moment man the moment like, it it doesn't sound good at all. It sounds sounds like a chick flick or something. Like, something your bitch would take you, yeah, let's go see, we, you want to go to the theater to see, you want to go to Brendan see the moment? Like, I don't know. Not a fan. I don't know why. And especially when you got a, a rugged guy like Marcos Maidana, and you have a soft-ass title like The Moment. Like, <laughs> like I said, it just sounds like Sadie Hawkins, like some some old chick flick. It doesn't sound good. It sounds like they should have put the moment. No homo. Pause. A, B, about billions. Like, it doesn't. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. And it doesn't just float off my tongue. No homo. It doesn't just, like, ring bells with me. I don't like it. I seriously don't get it. What the fuck is the moment? What moment? Like, that just sounds like something. Like, we had a moment. Like, I saw you from across the room and we had a moment. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It doesn't sound like two grown men are about to lace up, get in the square circle, and chunk them when I hear the moment. Like, I'm sorry, we had a moment. The moment. <laughs> I think boxing, mainstream boxing, definitely needs some insight. They need to come fuck with the YTBC, recruit some of you guys. Some of you guys leave great comments. Some of you guys that have channels, great stuff, great content. And I think they need a facelift. They need to start hiring some of these people because it's clear to me the... I don't know, the Harold Letterman's and the, you know what I mean, the Jim Lampley's and the, I don't know, everybody, Larry Merchant. Sometimes I question where these guys' heads are. And it's not even just that network. It's just in general boxing, in general, mainstream boxing. Who the fuck do you have behind the desk? And they, so like, who, who came up with the idea, the moment? That's what I want to know. Like, who decided and elected, this is a great name? For this event. We're going to call it the fucking moment. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Like, I want... Maybe it's because I'm an old head in terms of... I've I've liked boxing for so long now. Boxing and just sports in general just was a man's man. It was just gritty, grimy, and it was a man's sport. You got guys like Tyson really trying to decapitate folk in, in, the, in the fight. Um... You had people like Pernell Whitaker, who wasn't a big puncher by any means, but he had a mean streak to him, and he would really try to embarrass you with his slick defense. And again, not a big puncher, but he used to frustrate and taunt and all kinds of stuff like that. Then you had Chavez Sr. And I just miss that about boxing, and really all sports, not even just boxing. Back when basketball... Like, if you watch the old Michael Jordan games where the, he was playing teams, like he was with the Bulls, and he was playing teams that didn't like him, like the, the Pistons or something, they used to play rough. They were throwing elbows, playing the Knicks. They used to play, like, real aggressive. I remember Patrick Ewing, all of them, um, just really gritty, man's man type of, like, ball. It was like you couldn't cry and flop and all kinds of extra shit. And same thing with boxing. I think boxing, I still love it, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a fucking channel. But I just want to get it back to just where it's like kind of gritty and grimy. Not so much of a business to the point where 
fights that need to happen don't happen because guess what? It doesn't make enough business sense. And I was just kind of thinking about it all. And I don't like the moment. I don't like the title of it. It just doesn't sound cool to me. It sounds like some a movie that Channing Tatum would be in. Like, first there was Dear John. Now, the moment. Like, it, it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't sound like a fight. Like, if <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say if I just, like, read it, it was like Marcos Maidon and Floyd Mayweather the moment, I would think it's, like, sequel to Brokeback Mountain or some shit. Like, I, I wouldn't know. I, th I would honestly think it was, like, a love story or something. The moment just doesn't do it for me. It sounds too soft. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the title of the moment? I, for one, hate it. They were cool with the Canelo Angulo toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Okay, cool. Mano we mano, got you. Sounds gully, sounds gritty. It sounds grimy, son. But the moment, not a fan. I don't like I don't know. I just don't like it. Fuck it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the moment? Um, what would you call it if you were in charge and you were trying to come up with an elaborate title? I mean, you could have really called it anything, especially when you got those two opposing styles like Mayweather and then a guy like Marcos Maidana. One person cares more about offense. One person comes with slick defense. I just feel whoever is in charge could afford to be a little bit more creative, come up with something that's just like catchy, that just rings bells when you hear it. You're like, ooh, that sounds tight. Like I said, the Canelo Angulo, that sounded cool, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, the moment, in the words of Borat, not so much. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe to the next video's ego. Signing off. Mm -hmm.